Hey guys, this is Carter from Cars, Girls, and Paints. This is kind of two different videos I needed to do. I had a friend who saw the video on the faceplate, XXJMS, JM Studios, XX, my bad. It, sorry, it, it all, everybody always gets that confused. But anyways, um, he was at, he texted me, he's a good friend of mine, we go to school together, and he was asking me how to get your faceplate off. What you want to do? Is you want to take a flathead, which I bring over here, or just about any tool that you want. I'll just use a knife, because that's what I used originally. I used a little pocket knife like this, or you can use a little tool like that. And since mine's already taken off, I'm just going to show you what you would do. You would take it, and yes, this is my camera one. You would take the knife, and you would insert it down along here. Or whatever tool you were using. It doesn't matter. You just want to remember to try not to do as much, a whole, whole lot of damage. I'm going to try to get it off of there. And once you can get your fingers in there, you can really. Mine just snaps off now. There you go. Comes right off. And then the other thing I want to show y'all was I did this design. It's got the American flag. And it's got the. Oh, whoa. Slipped. And it's got the amp symbol with amp energy. You might be able to see energy. And it's got a bullet hole. And then on the other side, I'm still drawing on it. I'm still not done. It's. I'll try to hide part of it. See, it's got the CCP logo, which is really the MLG logo with these different letters. And then it's got these nice stripes going across. Down the bottom, I'm doing a bunch of different logos. I'm still not completely done with it because I haven't had a whole lot of time. So, thanks, and Matt, I sure do hope this helped you, because I watched so many videos, and see, it just snaps right back on, it may take you a little while to get back on there, it may take you a little while to get it off, really, all I did was I took a flat head, or I might have taken a knife or something, and I just stuck it kind of like along here, right about here, this little thing, ow. Say that right here and here. You wanna. <coughs> you wanna. Uh, you wanna stick a knife in there and get the little thing that's in there out. And then it's about the same on the other side. There's one here. And then once you get those open, pretty much it'll do you good. Oh, and there's your warranty sticker about right there. Do not remove that ever unless you're modding your Xbox which I'm not I have it and then I've also like I mentioned the other video on the video on this one I have it where it's like that I also have different uh, like color I've got sharpie over the lights there so it dims them and also do have a little bit of sharpie which actually happened by accident I have it on the LED for the um, middle light the thing is, what, what sucks is if I ever do get the Red Ring of Death, I won't be able to tell really if I have it. But that doesn't matter, really. Because if I, I've gotten the Red Ring of Death three times now, nothing has ever happened to my Xbox. It's always worked perfectly fine. Always, It's just been a little bit slow sometimes. And the disc reader thing doesn't work sometimes. Like, it'll say... That there's no disc in it when I know there is. But anyways, that's all I had to say. See ya.